Hi, and welcome to Brems to Puzzles. I'm back to the World Puzzle Federation 2016 Round 3. This is a set of puzzles that was created by a single puzzle creator from the Czech Republic, which is Jakub Androsek, um, which I've got the pronunciation on this one wrong. And this is an XV Sudoku, um, and it's a 48-point puzzle. If you want to understand how the point system works, check out the first puzzle in this series, Classic Sudoku 1, where I go through the details. Now, this is actually an XV Sudoku, as in the original definition from over a decade ago of what XV Sudoku means, which is um, it's the XV with the negative constraint, because that's what XV Sudoku originally was. Um, so let's go through the rules. Um, there'll be a link below to where you can try this puzzle for yourself, as well as to the entire World Puzzle Federation archive. Um, but let's go through the rules and then let's give the puzzle a try. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row and in every column, the digit one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then adjacent cells containing numbers summing to five are marked with a V. Adjacent cells containing numbers summing to 10 are marked with an X. Um, and adjacent cells with no marking must not contain numbers summing to five or 10. So it's basically the um, cell separated by a V must sum to five, cell separated by an X must sum to 10. You may not sum to five or 10 without a marking. They're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So... We know that anything summing to a V must either, well, this must be 1, 4, because there's only two ways of summing to 5, 1, 4, or 2, 3. You must use digits lower than 5, otherwise you need negative digit or 0 or negative digits, and I can't do 2, 3 here. So this is 1, 4. If this is a 1, this is a 4. If this is a 4, this is a 1. So these are 1, 4. These are now 2, 3, and the 2 here means this is the 3 and this is the 2. Now, there must be a low digit on an X. Well, actually, let's look at this, of course. Where do we put five in this box? If we put five on an X, it would need to partner with another five, and that can't happen. So this is a five. But any X clue needs to have a low digit on it, because um, by low, I mean something lower than five, because if I use two digits higher than five, six and seven, I'm summing to 13 not 10. But the only digit lower than 5 I've got available is 2, because 1, 3, and 4 are already gone. So this is a 2, 8. Okay. So this must be a higher digit, because all of the low digits are gone. So this is 6, 7, or 9. So this is 4, 3, or 1, but I'm not sure what to do there. Well, this is 2, 3, and this is 2, 3, because of the way these tie together. Okay, I need something more. Two is not in any of those because I can't put two there by Sudoku and I can't put two next to eight. So two is in one of those. So this can't have one or two on it. So it's three, seven or four, six. This one can't be. Mm. Well, two is down here, but this can't be a two because then this would be two, eight and that would break here. Three, four is down here. But that could be four, six, I think. Five is in one of those two. So these are from six, seven, eight, nine. And we know eight is one of them. Seven is not in any of those. Six is not in any of those. Six is in one of those. Oh, this is a one six pair because I can't put one or one next to a four with some to five and six next to four with some to a 10. So this is a one six pair and the one makes that the six and that the one. I could have used the one four for that. So these. Well, where's three now? Three can't go next to two, so that's the three. These, one, two, three, four, five, seven, and nine. Can't put seven next to three. So seven is in one of those two. So where's three in this column now? Because I can't put seven here 
because seven in this column has to be down here. So if this is a three, this would be a seven and break this column. So where's three now? This is a two, three pair, and that is four, six. That's very clever. So this can't be four, six. So one of those is four, six. That can't be four, six. Right. So this can't be four or six. This is three, seven, because it can't be one, nine, two, eight, or four, six. This is three, seven. So this can't be three, seven, or two, eight. So it's one, nine, or four, six. This is one, nine, or four. All right, what's this? This is one, nine. It can't have two or three on it. And it can't be four, six, because this can't be either four or six. This is one, nine. So there's no one or nine here. But what's this now? Because this can't be two, eight, one, nine, or three, seven. This is four, six, meaning this is three, seven. This is very cool, by the way. Need to figure out how to break it open further, though. Eight can't be in any of those. Eight can't be in those by Sudoku. Can't be in those because of the V and I can't put eight next to two. That's not, that's the eight. So what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Uh, there's no six there. So one in this column is in one of those two. Hmm. I'll bet you it's a simple negative constraint trick that I am completely blind to. Yes, where's two in this row? It has to be in one of those two, but I can't put it next to the eight. That's the two. Yeah, as soon as I put two in one of those two, I should have looked across with the two. Didn't. Fine. Everything's fine here now. Right, three and three puts three in one of those two, but I can't put it next to the two. So three is in one of those. Can't put the three there, I don't think. Yeah, can't put three there because then this could be neither three or two. So three is in, right, that's the three. Right, three can't be in those because of the three, seven. Three can't be those. So three is in one of those three. Three says three can't be there, but if this is a three, that would be a two without a V. That doesn't work. That's three, two, three. Seven is not there. So one, two, three, four isn't there or there. Four is in one of those two. Five could be anywhere, I think. Six, seven can't be there. Nine can't be there. So what could this be? One, two, three, can't be four. Five, seven, it's only five or seven. Seven is not in any of those. Seven's not there. Seven is in one of those two. Because seven can't go next to three. Something here I've missed. Two is, oh yeah, where's two? Two and two puts two in one of those three, but I can't put th two next to three and two's not there. So that's the two, which puts two down here. Completely unrestricted, I think. Eight is down here. Again, completely unrestricted, I think. Nine is in here somewhere. Or 
Oh, this is a one by Sudoku. Because of the ones. So that can't be four or nine. So nine is in here. Oh, where's four in this column? Four can't be here. I can't put it next to one. Four can't be here. So this is the four. This is the six. So this is a four, seven, not nine, four, seven pair now because four, four, seven. Well, I can't put seven there. So this is a four, seven pair. So one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. These are five, six, and nine. So five, nine, six is in one of those two. There's no five there. There's no nine there. That's the six. Because I can't put nine next to one. So that's a five nine pair. So that's not the five. That's the five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a six, making that the one because I can't put four next to six. That the four, that the one, that the four. These, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can't put eight next to two. Can't put seven next to three. I can't put nine next to one. That's the eight. It puts eight down here in one of those two because I can't put it next to two, but the eight says the eight's not there. That's the eight. Boy, these are fun. I know I'm still missing stuff, but I'm having fun while I'm missing stuff. So lots of four, five, sevens, and nines. Okay. One is in one of those two. Four is in one of those two. This is only five, seven, or nine for the row. I'm not seeing a restriction on that. Higher digits are less restricted. It's just the way they work. Oh, no, 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 no. Six means that can't be four. That's seven, that's four. That takes seven out of there. I've got a five, nine pair making that seven. Taking seven out of all of those make that seven. This is five, six, nine. Don't know. Five takes five out of there. Six comes out of there. So these are five, six, nine. Seven. Where's seven in this box? I can't put seven in any of those cells. That seven eliminates those. This is a one seven pair. Seven can't be here by Sudoku. Seven can't be here by Sudoku. I can't put seven next to three. This is a one seven seven pair. So that's nine, that's seven. The nine makes that the six taking six out of here. This becomes five, nine. Six is in one of those two. Can I eliminate that further? Well, that's a four now because of that five, nine pair. That's a four. This is not four. This is five, seven, or nine. It's not seven because I can't put seven next to three. So that's a five, nine pair. That's a seven. This is a five, nine pair looking down, making that the six. The four is looking down saying that's not the four. That's the four. And this is a five, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a six. Nine can't go next to one. That's the five, that's the nine. Looking across, making that the nine and that the five. Something in here? Although it could be these looking up when I finally get to it. The three looks across, making that the two and that the three. Yeah, 
this could be resolved by something looking up here. So I don't need to stress about that just yet. The seven looks down, making that the one and that the seven. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, eight, and nine. There's no five there. So these are one, two, and four. There's no four there, and I can't put one and four together. If this was a four, uh, if this was a one, it'd be next to a four. So that is a two, which means that's an eight. That's a two. The eight looks back, making that the nine. Looking back, making that the one, and that the nine. So this has to be three or seven to complete the row, and the three looks down, making that the seven, making that the three, and that the seven. There's no nine in any of those. Six can't go next to four. That's the one, that's the four, meaning that's not the one, that's the one. The seven looks across, well, that's not the seven because I've already placed the seven in the box. This has to be five or eight for the row. These are all five, eight, nine, and there must be a nine in one of those two. The eight looks down saying there's no eight there. Can't put eight there because it'd be next to two. That's a five, nine. That's an eight, making that a five, that an eight. Five. Oh, it's right here. I can't put nine next to one. Five, nine, nine, five, nine, five. I knew there had to be something because five can't be restricted by anything, but using a negative constraint, a nine is only restricted by a one. The nine looks down, making that the five and that the nine. I knew it had to be something. I just couldn't see what it was. Um, that was a 48 point puzzle. That was yeah, 15 minutes. Didn't do as well on this one. Negative constraints, I find a lot more tricky, but that's the way it goes. I mean, even anti-night, although I did okay on that one, if I remember correctly. This one was a little bit more tricky, but I quite like it. I really like the pattern with the puzzle as well. Definitely some fun tricks to look out for in this one. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Um, got a little bit stumped at the end, but you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Mm, I'm going to go get a cookie. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed the puzzle. And as always, good luck with your solving.